It's all up to Connor O'Neill tonight for the Nottingham MMA faithful. He's making his debut in the super light weight category. Dale Oy dropping it. Jake Richards taking it for Breon Black Belt. Connor O'Neill looking, well, in the most exciting, by far the most exciting weight division, the lightweight division in my opinion, probably because I was champion of it back in the day. But here we go, Veneman. Uh, the, it's going to be hard to say this next name, but BST, Veneman from BST will be meeting him. And BST and Nottingham MMA having such great histories. It'll be very cool, well, it'll be very decisive to see which team is able to eke out the victory tonight. Beyond Black Belts. All right, Veneman from BST, that stands for Blood, Sweat, and Tears, just down the M1 in Northampton. And they boast, boast fighters in every single professional organization around the world. They have an, a myriad of experience, a, un, an endless well of fighting prowess, and they've turned out some of the best fighters in a generation. including current Cage Warriors champion Jordan Vucenich. They're taking their time here. There's going to be a moment of walking out. A debut, though, for Connor O'Neill, and he couldn't have picked a better team to go up against. Definitely not trying to dodge some of the bigger fights as Connor O'Neill, so he must know something that we don't. Ooh, stop the music, folks. Stop the music. Let's go out nice and quiet. Veneman getting in, he's got the bucket hat. It's the bucket hat massive in here tonight in Nottingham. Will it be BST? Will it be Nottingham MMA getting their first victory of the evening? Or is BST gonna do what they usually do, which is start in a big way and continue just as they mean to, as they mean to. There you see the aforementioned Jordan Vucenich in the corner. Lucas Lempienski, black belt standout. Just a few moments there, shortening it up. Very thick fighter, Veneman. Well, well trained, walking in nice and slow, savoring this moment.
Bull Fighters not wasting any time. Kicks landing. Veneman being backed up. Connor O'Neill coming forward, mixing it up to the body and to the head. Comes in and shells up. And Veneman backs him up with the right hand. Yeah. Bouncing in. Yeah, this covering is, up. This is Connor's uh, debut, Steve, and he looks very composed. Yeah, he looks excellent, really, but he's covering up very well. And Vinny coming in with a 1 0 record. But from a super experienced team. I mean, just in that corner there, we've got Lee Edwards, the boxing coach, Jordan Vichenik, Cage Warriors champion, and Lucas Lefienka, super respected Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt. Mm, that low, low kick is working for Connor O'Neill. Oh, go high. Nice mixing up. I was going to say it'd be a rarity if BST dropped a fight here in the Battle Arena cage. <laughs> they do. Uh, I think there was one weekend when they, they got about 20 different wins between all the different shows they had fighters on. Such high level. And the biggest gym in Europe. Incredible. Definitely the quality of coaching there. Uh, yeah. That's what O'Neill's been good at. He's chopped into the leg. Look, he's chopped into that into that calf again. And uh, O'Neill, you know, very highly regarded coaches himself here at Monoskium MMA. Paul Lukowski is a Alliance BJJ black belt in his corner. Oh, going high. That switch between the low kick and the high kick is very good. Yeah, and over and right. There's a moment of pause there between the two, whether it actually hurt or not. He's got to watch that inside kick that doesn't ride up. Keeps his chin down. Does O'Neill. Already tell Venny's wearing some of those welts on the leg. Another low kick. Every time Vinny looks to settle and throw his left hand, the kick is coming from O'Neill. Both super composed fighters, Steve. I mean, for, a, for being 1-0 in a debut, it looked like this is the 10th of the fight. He's got this lean away, come back with the right. Composure, footwork. I mean, we've had a couple of fights tonight, Steve, where you know, I wasn't overly blown away by some of the levels of the competitors, but this is not one of them. Yeah, this is definitely a great showing, especially for two guys that are making you know, the early starts of their career. Over in right lands. O'Neill is picking the right shots, but he's ducking his head every time. There's an uppercut waiting for Venny there. He can throw it. Yeah, he loves the right. It's just right the kicks, kicks right hand, Steve. Good point. The kicks are brilliant. It's been a big story for O'Neill in this one. Big kicks landing. I'd like to see him go back to that calf a bit more. Oh, lovely Lays another kick. One. He's turning Venny in with that. Yeah, and you can see the inside and outside of uh, Vinny's leg is reddened. Boxing coach Lee Edwards there in the corner of Vinny, giving those advice, you know, angling off, getting it, changing up the footwork and just completely change your fight. Yeah, just having a bit more. And you know that he's coming with that with that kick. You're going to need to check it or try to catch it. And the thing is, with, with O'Neill going low, low on that calf, hard to do, right? So he's got to start checking that or coming in through with the right hand. And one of the things of maturity of levels is uh, you a bit more variety of the strikes. And... I mean, Connor O'Neill has great variety, but everything's off his right-hand side. It's right kicks or it's right hands. He's, he's kind of somewhat neglecting using the left just to set up the right. He's clearly got great right, great power on his leg and hand, but it's a little bit more of a setup. But I think the more comfortable he gets in the cage, that's what we'll start seeing from him, using those combinations that he works on in the gym. Mm. What happens if BST lose? Do they? Do we have a riot? What yeah, happened? I'm, I'm it's never happened before, Steve. Oh. There you go. He steams in. I think throwing the right hand might be the key for. And there, look, he comes forward. Yeah. Not letting him settle. Maybe going into the clinch. There's the kick again. Blitz. Vinny's blitzing forwards, but keeps a really good shape while he does it. Lovely Ooh. combination. But the right hand landed on the way out. Oh, he's taking that back now. Let's go check Superman almost that one. Almost, yeah. Nice. O'Neill's a little bit slow bringing that right hand back, Steve. Mm -hmm. Just leaves it out just a moment. Left hook counter from from Vinny might be the the right thing. Yep. Pounds in there. 
Nice combinations. I feel like Vili could work the body a little bit. Yeah, because we got O'Neill shelling up yeah. very, very high with the elbows. There yeah, he goes he to the body. It. He heard you. What maturity. I mean, is that the corner of Jordan Vicenic, the Cage Warriors champion, giving you those little clues, those little adjustments? That inside leg kick is money for O'Neill. Yeah, O'Neill is getting a bit extended on that right hand, like you observed, Chris. Now he's coming into the legs. Does he have an underhook? He does have an underhook. Just not great head position, but he's trying to get that hip in front and drag him to the mat. This one's got the crowd amped up. There you go. There it is. There it is. He was in. Just couldn't finish. Ooh, lead right hand again. Chopping those legs down big time. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if O'Neill's got it in him right now. He's taking a lot of shots off the guard, which might have rattled his head. Yeah, I felt like O'Neill was, was doing very round and very well in round one, but. Vinny's just the composure and the power. Ripped to the body there. Yeah. He's made the adjustments, ripping the body. His hands look dynamic. That's what happens when Lee Edwards is your boxing coach. You're going to hit like that. Neat. There, another chopping kick lands. <laughs> the problem is that O'Neill hasn't made Vinny respect his hands at all. It's all been kicks. Yeah, it does have great power in his kicks, but you're completely right, Steve. Especially now he's fatigued. There's just nothing on his punches. But Vinny's just walking through them. A bit of a, a bit of cut opening up there. Round one, O'Neill. Round two, Vinny. All to play for here in the third round. This is one that I got up here for. This is exactly what I drove two hours down the M1 for. This kind of a fight. Very, very I competitive. Back and forth. Yeah, well, I, I hitched a ride. <laughs> This is what you have to listen to me, waffling on, listening to country music. Little bit of chicken fried. <laughs> yeah. Just a pickup truck and some good old fashioned bare knuckle fighting. All right, so adjustments <laughs> have to be made in the corner of O'Neill. All right. Meanwhile, I say in Venny's corner, steam forward, throw right hands, and just spam them. Spam right hands. Well, it doesn't look like O'Neill's got anything that can make you respect him in terms of the hands. So. Get him charging backwards and smash him. Well, he's getting excellent instruction there, Conor O'Neill, from former British Thai boxing champion Owen Comrie. And uh, hopefully he's going to give him some of that advice, Steve. But I worry if just the sting's gone out of his shots just because of fatigue. And he definitely looks the more tired of the two. Finney's poker facing it. Not showing anything. Just a little bit of sweat dripping off the beard. Oh, change of game plan. Yeah, he di dove in there. He's got double underhooks, maybe? No. Nope. I mean, this could be a good strategy. Over under. He's got, one O'Neal. of them's got to own the head position, though. If he can slow this down, this could be good. And they can chew up the legs with the knees. Try to dominate from there, because it, in the punching exchanges, it's all Venny at the moment. Okay, he's got double underhooks. Yeah, I can see that fatigue's written all over the face of O'Neill. Yeah. Oh, lovely right hand though. Good timing on that. Just lacking the pot. Will he get a second wind? Oh, but look at the speed. Vinny's just as fast as he was round one. I would nice entry, but then yeah. come up with the knee, I find, into the body, I think. There we go. Thank you very much for listening, Mr. O'Neill. I'm here all night. This is interesting, Steve. It's could be great strategy from Owen Libby. If he can get the takedown, win this round, he could win the fight. But brace there's, on the previous decisions we've seen tonight. There's definitely some anxiety in the Nottingham corner. It's a minute and 40 seconds, minute and 30 seconds. The output these guys have put in has been incredible. There you go. Venny being backed up again. O'Neill's you know, putting on a very good pace. Yeah, O'Neill needs to try and claw this round. 
If he can just tip this round, he could win this fight. He needs to dig team. very deep and keep it mixed it up. Use the hands to set up the kicks. Yeah, not think. not throw anything naked because that right hand of Venny is just incredibly, incredibly powerful. And like you said, he's throwing it just as hard as he did in the first, and then it lands there. Yeah. If Owen can use those kicks and keep shooting, outpoint him for the round. But Vinny is just still just popping. Well, we've seen some questionable decisions already tonight, Steve. Well, this is anyone's fight. No, I don't think so. I think Vinny's running away with it right now, Chris. Yeah, he's doing damage. He really is. And I just don't think O'Neal can get anything off. 30 seconds. I think Vinny wants to put him away, but it's going to be tough. Can he sit him down with one of those big right hands? Great, great, just high elbow guard there from O'Neal. is keeping him, keeping him fairly safe at the moment. This is excellent. There's another chopping kick, which has been the statement. Vinny having none of that. He's shrugging him away so easily. Well, I know who I think won this fight, Steve, but it's hard to say. Oh, we're going to have to go in for the decision. Chris, it's up to you to gather it up. Great take down there ends at Vinny at the end and he looks just as pumped up as he did at the very, very beginning. A really good debut for O'Neal there. Excellent kicks. You know, just needs to put a bit more stank on the punches and keep himself in position, not just constantly shell up when he's in the pocket, because that leads to the counter landing and landing quite hard. And just a few moments away from our decision. If any thinks he's got it, is it going to be a complete shutout of Nottingham MMA tonight? We're only moments away and we will find out. In our fourth fight of the evening, you're definitely getting banged for your buck because it's just decision after decision here. Let's go to the judges' scorecards and Chris Fenson with our announcement. Power is powerful, that's for sure, as Venny, well, yeah, Venny from BST gets the decision. He backs him up with big right hands and he makes it all happen. Eats the low, low kicks, but I don't think he's going to be on the dance floor this evening. <laughs> 